In this video, you will fully learn the concept of Python multiprocessing. You can fully understand the concept of multiprocessing by watching the video until the end. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Multiprocessing in Python refers to the capability of running multiple processes concurrently to improve the performance. In fact, we can perform operations simultaneously using multithreading. But multithreading and multiprocessing do not mean the same thing. So what is the difference between them? Multithreading aims to perform multiple tasks simultaneously by sharing the same memory space. Multiprocessing allows multiple jobs to run in different memory areas. In this way, we can perform operations in parallel much faster by using more than one CPU core. Python provides the multiprocessing module, which allows you to create and manage processes easily. Now let's make an example to better understand the concept of multiprocessing. First I want to make an example without using multiprocessing. Then we will do the same example with multiprocessing and compare the running times. I imported the time library to see how long it took to complete the program. I created three empty lists. We will append data to these three lists using the append list function. There is a for loop in the function. By using the for loop, I can generate as many numbers as the R parameter sent to the function. I add the specified numbers to the list sequentially using the append function. At the end of the function, I will indicate which process has been completed. Before calling the function, I save the time into a variable using the time library. I call the function three times. I send the process number and number range to the function. For example, this is the first process and means appending 30 million numbers to three lists in order. I do this process three times. When the functions are completed, I save the end time to a variable using the time library. When I subtract the beginning from the end, I can find out how long the program took to complete. Processes are done sequentially. The program was completed in approximately 15 seconds. So can we shorten this time by using multiprocessing? In addition to the previous example, I imported the multiprocessing library. I created the lists and functions. The code mostly works when imported as a module. We want to run the script directly. We can use the main module to do this. In this way, we can accurately calculate the running time of the program. This is necessary to avoid infinite recursion when creating sub-processes. I save the start time into a variable. I can create a process using the process function. Make the function name equal to the target value. Enter the parameters you want to send to the function in the args value. For example, this is the first process and means appending 30 million numbers to three lists in order. Don't forget to add a comma at the end. I created three processes. We can start processes using the start function. I wait for the processes to be completed by using the join function. When the processes are completed, I record the current time and save it in the stop variable. I subtract the start time from the end time. Processes do not run sequentially. Processes run simultaneously. Therefore, it is not clear which one will finish first. Compared to the first example, the program took very short time. The program that did the same job was completed in just 8 seconds. In this video, we learned the concept of Python multiprocessing. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.